Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the end of Windows 10. And I posted a video regarding two nag ads that are now starting to show up um, on uh, devices that are not compatible to be upgraded to Windows 11. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. Now, the reason I mentioned that video is because we have another chapter in the so-called end of Windows 10, which according to Microsoft, um, the end of support for Windows 10 will officially happen next year on the 14th of October 2025, as we have been talking about on the channel. Although I personally don't feel this is going to happen. And even as I posted earlier today, Microsoft has now um, opened up a Windows 10 22H2 beta channel where they are going to start testing new features. And that video will also be in the end screen. Now, just to let you know, in regards to the so-called end of Windows 10, this week at Computex 2024, AMD and Intel have both showed off their new processors and CPUs. And interestingly enough, the Ryzen AR300 series is not going to carry support for Windows 10. So if we head over to the actual official specifications um, of the processor, here we can see AMD Ryzen AI processor for premium AI PCs. And if we look at the specifications, OS support, no mention of Windows 10. So this is another indication that to some extent or the other companies are starting to move on due to the upcoming and, and impending end of support of Windows 10. But if we look at the AMD 9000 series, which says when you want the best for gaming and creating, if we scroll down to the OS support here, we can see Windows 10 is mentioned. Windows 10 64-bit. So basically this means that AMD's Windows 10 chipset drivers will not work on the new Ryzen AR300 series, as we can see. Though the 9000 series should have no issues, as we can see, because it is listed as an um, supported OS. And I thought this was interesting. And just another kind of so-called nail in the coffin of Windows 10 due to the upcoming end of, end of support next year in October, according to Microsoft. And just wanted to keep you guys in the loop uh, if you are still on Windows 10 and uh, um, just keeping you guys posted. And if I get any more info regarding, you know, little bits here and there regarding the end of Windows 10, where companies are starting to pull different products because of that, I'll keep you guys posted and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.